first thing I like to do before I start decorating for the season that I'm celebrating is to start with a clean slate. So here I am moving out all our dog toys and some yarn designs I'm working on and I'm starting by cleaning our surfaces. I have one color cloth for dusting and another one for polishing. So I've cleaned my coffee table and here I'm cleaning my fireplace. And while I was cleaning this fireplace, I realized from all the candles I burned at Christmas time, it had a lot of uh, black lights, black um, soot on it. So I had to really give it a good scrub and a good clean. And what better time than right now before I decorated for this season of Valentine's Day? Here I'm using a blue cloth for my actual polishing and I used my yellow cloth for dusting. So that blue cloth is helping me to get the mirrors nice and sparkly clean using that Windex. And I like to clean from top down on all of my surface so everything is ending, coming down towards the floor ready for me for when I'm able to vacuum. And by using the two different cloth colors, you're not re-dirtying items or objects that you've already cleaned. Here I've taken another cloth and I've just put a little um, like dish soap on it just to moisten it with some water and I'm just doing like a damp mop clean of our couches. I do also like to steam clean my couches but for this particular time the couches were in pretty good shape so I just gave it a light dusting for any fluff or any dog hair just giving it a light wipe and then just a nice little quick vacuum. For those of you that have watched previous videos, you know I like to have some couch covers on my couches. Um, we used to have two dogs. We sadly lost Arabella. She was our black and white Lhasa Apso. But we have Lila still, and her hair is light colored. So I still like to keep some covers on our couches to keep the cushions protected. So I did my usual run to home scents for my couch covers. And here I've actually shopped my home for my pillows. So I did not purchase any new for this season. And I chose to go for this Valentine's Day season, a decor coloring of pinks and a little bit of red. So here I've just placed one of my crochet blankets from my product line. That is our sweet pea blanket. Perfect for just lap coverage on the couch. Also makes a wonderful uh, baby blanket for a baby shower and some more cushions in the pinks and the whites and off-white and creamy colors. I love to create layers on my couches, so that's why you see me here layering with this blanket on top of the couch cover, and then I will add my pillows as the last step. And that pink one, that's a real fun one. I love that one. I'm just curious. When did you know you had feelings for me? Maybe somehow we've always known that. We have chemistry, but always chasing after. This Valentine's season, I decided to go with a very romantic like feel to my decor. So along with the pinks and the reds, I'm accenting my room with just a touch of gold as well. That is one of my favorite pictures to put up for the, the love season because it was taken on our wedding day at a park. 
here are some other decor items that I will be using. Oh, there's Lila. Here I am getting some flowers ready. I did a dollar store run. So these flowers are from the dollar store, believe it or not. And I'm just getting them ready to do an arrangement on this coffee table. And these flowers are a very soft white, red and pink. And I'm cutting all of the stems to the length that I'd like to have. This actually was a little bit difficult to do. I did have some wire cutters, but I had to go through several layers of plastic. So even though these flowers are from the dollar store, they're still really, really well made. Lovely long stem roses. So once I've snipped all of the ends off to the right length, I've just bunched them together and I'm putting a little hair tie around the bottom to keep them clumped together so that they'll sit nicely in that red vase. I love that color combination. A little bit more dusting and polishing. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. And here I'm doing some more layering with height, adding some flowers on top of that book. And for our fireplace this year, I decided to use some green ivy tied with some beautiful soft ribbon and pink hearts that dangle ever so lightly on the side. And to this mantle, I will be adding just two small arrangements of flower pots and those as well I purchased from the dollar store a few years back you might remember I did use them so I'm repurposing and adding them to this fireplace mantle And this is a sweet precious moments ornament that I've had for quite some time, a little figurine. And I'm just doing a lovely little wall hanging for our uh, hallway by the dining room. And I'm just adding in some more flowers to tie in with our color scheme. And if you notice, this hanger is gold to keep up with my theme of the color scheme that I chose for this year. Once this is all put together, you'll see that I then tie a lovely bow. And it's just a simple white bow that has um, very faint gray polka dots on it and I then tie it with a thin velvet ribbon as well in pink. Just a simple tie, like you would tie a shoelace, is all that I've done here, nothing too fancy. Just keeping it simple. So now that my living room is complete, I'm going to move on to the next area in our house to decorate. But first, I'm going to light this candle. This candle was from the dollar store as well, and I thought it was so fitting for Valentine's Day because it has tiny little hearts on it. And then I place another dollar store candle in the shape of a heart on the fireplace mantle.
and who doesn't love a little candy for Valentine's Day? I really loved doing this because some of these pieces that you're seeing here, that swan and this pink glass dish are items um, that I've had for a number of years and these would have been things, uh, actually in particular that dish was a wedding gift and I've had that for years so a lot of items that I've used to decorate this Valentine's Day are from the 90s when I got married and I know some of the retro themes are coming back in home decor so I thought why not pull out some of this old stuff and repurpose and reuse it. So I'm using this as a candy dish putting some chocolate hearts, some large rockets and those Valentine candies that have the I love you on it and of course some cinnamon hearts and some more chocolate. Now I've moved into our kitchen and in our kitchen this is what I call our tea room. We have two love seats that face each other with just a small fireplace in the middle and I have placed one of my Anthea style crochet blankets on it and I've chosen to do pink and black in the tea room. Again I've shopped my home so there's nothing really that new that I've used in this space. I've just repurposed items, adding some more flowers to keep the color consistent. Another vase from the dollar store. Isn't that pretty? It's got a red, it's got red, and then it has a, like a rhinestone heart on the front of it. And at nighttime it looked very pretty. And of course some more chocolates. And that is on a silver dish. And then to finish it off, very fitting for the tea room are some teacups. And these teacups used to belong to my mother, so I'm so appreciative to be able to have them to enjoy this Valentine's season. And as well, I have a small china cabinet in our kitchen that I use to store our everyday dinner plates in. And I decided to add a little bit of Valentine decor to the top of this. And I'm adding a beautiful teapot here. This also um, is a set that used to belong to my mom. And I just have lots of fond memories of lots of tea parties at our home with her. So I'm so happy to be able to use it. Now I've moved on to our dining room and I'm just cleaning the surface of our table, getting ready to decorate this. I've chosen to use a white linen tablecloth. And please know, you need to iron your tablecloths. Nothing worse than a table with a cloth on it with wrinkles or creases. So I did iron it and now I'm getting ready to put a table runner on it. Now, interesting thing, this isn't really a table run runner. Years ago, I made these as scars for my friends and it's fleece. I did them in red and I did them in black and I got some beautiful trim from the fabric store to edge the edges of this scarf and they are red pom-poms with a little bit of beads and I'm repurposing it here in my dining room to use as a table runner. I thought that was kind of fun to do. Next I'm getting ready to set the table and I'm just cleaning off some charger plates that I have and I'm doing a table setting for six. You will notice in this uh, table setting as I'm doing it I'm very particular with how I'm placing the items on my table and that is so that I don't miss out on giving that table place setting for that person all of the items that they will need for that meal. So I don't want to ever forget a fork 
or forget the butter knife. I want to make sure everybody has everything that they have for that particular dinner. So on top of the charger plates, I'm placing the dinner plate and then I place the salad plate and then that will be followed by the bread plate. I then set each place setting with a serviette and here I've decided to put the bread plate on top of the serviette. Again, here I am layering and each place setting will also get its own little suite of chocolate. Very fitting for Valentine's Day. As I'm setting this table, I just have lots of wonderful, warm, loving memories of many dinners in my family home with my parents and my brothers eating on this very set of china. Again, this china set is Old Country Roses and it used to belong to my mom, who we no longer have with us. So I just feel very honored that I get to keep the tradition going in our family by using her china and her silverware cutlery. Next, I'm creating the tablescape down the center of the table by using lots of glass and crystal and candles and flowers. And again, a lot of these pieces, guys, are gifts that I've gotten over the years or they're also items that I've had from when we were first married. So I'm showing you guys that you really don't have to go out and spend a lot if you have items in your home that you can reuse. Look around, think outside of the box, and make it work for you. I'm adding the drinkware now. So I'm adding a water goblet and then the glass for either that sparkling drink or if you serve a punch. Right now, I know it does look like there's a lot of glass going on the center of this table, but you will see, stick with me, you'll see how this all ties in together so nicely. And the last thing are the flowers. Again, continuing with the same colors of the reds and the pinks. This ties everything together, I think, so beautifully. Mm -hmm. 